Hi everyone, welcome. We are in the month of May and we are doing a May Bible journal. And today's word is the word, the prompt today is the word move. And I picked as the main verse, Acts 17, verse 28a, for in him we live and move and have our being. So that was the, the verse that came to mind when I first read the word move. Then I kept reading and I thought this was so very important. I wrote that down as well. And that's a couple verses down. Acts 17 verses 30 and 31. Although God overlooked the ignorance of earlier times, he now commands all people everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. So when Jesus was raised from the dead, that was the proof He's talking about. He's given proof of this that he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. So there's no excuse. There's no you know, people are arguing these days about whether you can trust the Bible or whether it's actually, you know, reliable or whether it actually happened or whether it's, I mean, they're questioning the very existence of God. But according to God, and he's the one who matters after all, according to God, he's done everything he could he's shown his mercy he's shown his grace and if people don't want to have any part of it they will face judgment he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed and that man is jesus because he has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead so i just thought that was very to the point, no beating around the bush with God. He tells it like it is. So then I drew this feather with the white jelly roll. And I was thinking of trying something else. These are sparkle glitter gel pens. Got them on Amazon. And I was thinking I could maybe add a little bit of color just to some of these ends here. So how are you all doing? We are well into the month of May. We've been having some rain and it's very much needed. Why do we talk about the weather when we don't have anything else to say? That doesn't look bad. I would just say that the glitter pins won't show up on black unless you do put some white jelly roll down first or white of something. Otherwise it just disappears. I was thinking these parts in the middle here might be interesting to do as well since they're a little wider. I 
Oh, and two, I wanted to show you the um, prayer journal page I made yesterday. Or the other day. I tried to print it out on both sides, not realizing that um, you actually have to have two copies of it. So I'm going to probably redo it and make it a two page PDF that way if anybody's interested they could do a whole prayer journal. I purposely made it really simple so that um, you could, you know, that the, that the Holy Spirit could lead you in certain ways. Or if something wasn't needful, you could just, you know, change it, but you'd still have the space to write it. So if I was making this into a prayer journal, I would have it printed on both sides. And then the size I would make it would be half of this size. And I make a lot of my journals the size. So it works out to um, eight and a half this way and then five and a half this way. So there's that. So that's available on my coffee page for anybody who would like it. Well, now that I'm coloring it, I don't know if I should have left it. Some will like color and some will say I should have left it. So, either way. So, a lot of you are great about commenting. So, I'm going to ask another question if you don't mind. Um, for those of you who are adding... Bible journaling to your study routine. I want to know from you, please. Um, what else do you do? How else do you study the Word? Do you use a system? Do you just read and ask the Lord to explain it to you? How does that look? Just so you know, glitter pen does take a while to dry, so. I'm starting to get kind of sticky here. Yeah, so I thought this section of verses was a good one for um, unbelievers. As a warning, if nothing else. I think I missed one here. Well, it's different. So that's today's uh, portion, and uh, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.